Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the question is about the steel structures and the question will be a column. Now you can see we are going to uh, check the safety of the column. Uh, so now let's solve the question. Before we solve the question, if you like these videos, if you want to see more of the videos, please subscribe and share with your friends. If, uh, if anything that you wish, please specify on the comments and I'm trying to do my best. So now let's solve the question. Guys, for this question, I'm going to first uh, specify the effective length, okay? So, for the X and Y, you can see the supports uh, are the same. So, sorry, supports are the same. So, I'm going to write here again directly uh, for one uh, direction. So, it's going to be, for example, uh, the effective length equal to K multiplied L. Okay, what is K? Look at here. Case here, I'm gonna show you this. Both you can, uh, both supports you can see them. They are translation, yeah. The rotation are free and translation are uh, fixed. So let's check it. I have the uh, table actually, it's going to be uh, checked from here. This shape, okay. This one, so you can see here it's going to be k the value as one, so, okay. So for this, so let's do it. This is going to be k multiplied l1 multiplied uh, 5 meter is going to be equal to 5000 millimeter. Okay. So now uh, let's check for the uh, slenderness. For the slenderness, if you remember that we are going to use this table. For this table, look at here, it's going to be uh, table B, sorry, uh, from the chapter B, table uh, 4.1. And this is going to be actual compression. The elements member subjected to actual compression. So now I'm going to go to down and I'm going to take this one because our shape is this one. D over T, we are going to make a comparison D over T uh, with 0.11 multiplied E FY. So let's do it. So D over T, smaller 0.11 multiplied e over fy d over t what is d look at here 300 right sorry 300 over t is here the thickness of a tube 30 and 0 0.11 multiplied uh, what is the uh, modulus of elasticity look, look at here you can see 200,000 megapascal over FY. What is FY? 275. So this this is a multiplication and this is going to be equal to 80 and look at here this is smaller than 30 smaller than 80 so this is non cylinder I guess now we uh, determine the uh, cylinderness so let's, uh, let's try to uh, solve the question. Now look at here. This is the non slender. I'm going to again use uh, this um, part. It is chapter E and it says that chapter E3, okay? Flexural buckling of the members without slender elements. Now this is the non slender element and our is the compression member. So we are going to use this chapter. So how are we going to calculate that? First, we are going to determine the slenderness ratio and we are going to make a comparison to determine the which critical stress is going to be uh, calculated. Look at here, we have two critical stress, okay? If this uh, slenderness ratio is smaller than this ratio, we are going to obtain this critical formula. And if the uh, slenderness ratio is smaller than that formula, sorry, that ratio, we are going to calculate this one. So now, Let's check for uh, slenderness, okay? For the slenderness ratio, it's going to be uh, slenderness ratio K multiplied L over radius of gyration. But look at here in the question, the radius of gyration is not given. So we have to calculate the radius of gyration also. Okay, I'm going to make the calculation here. Radius of gyration equal to inertia over area. Okay, so what is inertia? Let's check. What is inertia? 95, 95.89 multiplied 10 power 6 over the area. 
and the uh, radius of gyration is going to be equal to 102.6 millimeter okay so now we got it let's write it here and determine the slenderness ratio this is slenderness ratio okay so what was the effective length 5000 right we calculated before 5000 over 102.6 and this is going to be equal, equal to 48.7 okay so but we have to look at here we have to make a comparison with, uh, with this with this value so let's calculate it also 4.71 multiplied in the square root of e over fy and this is equal to uh, 4.71 multiplied e what is e the uh, modulus of elasticity 200,000 I have to write it here over the fy what is fy 275 and this is going to be equal to 127 so 48.7 this value smaller than this one okay we are going to use this formula to calculate okay we are going to use this one to calculate the um, the, the flexural buckling so now but look at here in this formulation we have an elastic buckling stress okay this is fe okay so before the calculation of f critical we have to calculate the elastic uh, buckling stress so let's do it look at the formulation the formulation is this one so this is going to be calculated like this fe is equal to p square multiplied e over the radius of sorry the slenderness ratio okay slenderness ratio this is what 48 but actually, I'm going to write it like that. So now I have it. Let's apply the formula. P square multiplied 200,000. The, the modulus of elasticity. And 48.7 square. The slenderness ratio. And this is going to be equal to 832 megabasca and now we got the uh, elastic buckling stress so let's calculate the critical uh, stress it's going to be calculated like that f critical equal to 0.658 f uh, y over f e okay multiplied f e yeah, I'm sorry. It's going to be multiplied Fy, not Fe. Yes, let's apply the formula, actually. I'm trying to show you all steps, uh, so I don't want you to uh, miss any part of the question. Fy is, uh, let's check what was Fy. It's 275. You can see we use on in the question also. 275 over 832. multiply 275 and this is going to be equal to uh, 200 yeah sorry 239 39 megapascal yes 239 megapascal now we calculated f critical so let's calculate the, the flexible buckling of uh, this um, section and we are going to make a compare with the load is given okay so we are going to check the safety so it's going to be something like that this is pn if you are design in the design you have to use the coefficient so what is that is will be equal to 0 0.9 because for lfrd is 0 0.9 okay due to lfrd it is 0 0.9 239 and multiplied 9111 multiplied 10 over minus 3 so now and this is going to be equal to 1960 kilo newton
now we got it look at here we got it so let's uh, make a compare with the load is given uh, load is uh, 1500 kN so is greater than 100 so 1500 so it is safe Now I guess you understand how we are going to calculate the uh, flexural uh, buckling and uh, also see you for the next question.